Our top story at 530. Does South Carolina have a litter problem? One state senator says yes, and now she's proposing a plastic bag ban in every single city and county in the Palmetto State. But is a bag ban really the best way to clean up our streets? NBC Charlotte's Tanya Mendes digging into the debate tonight. Plastic bags, they just wind up in the trash most of the time, which is why it may not be that surprising that a South Carolina lawmaker is now calling most of the state trashy. And now conversations are happening in Columbia about whether some communities need to consider banning them altogether. Shopping in some South Carolina stores no longer comes with the age old question of paper, reduce, reuse, recycle, or plastic. Yes, I have a ton of plastic bags. 17 cities and towns in the Palmetto State have now banned plastic bags. The fourth largest city in the state, Mount Pleasant, just made it official last week. Others, including right in York County, now open to conversation about a bag ban. I mean, if it were up to me, I would say sure. In the environment, nature, um, making sure that we're preserving our, our parks and our, our you know, public facilities is important, um, especially that we're on the lake. But lawmakers in Columbia are now debating a bill that would ban the bans and could roll back policies towns already have in place. Some grocers and business owners complaining that the state allowing each town to set its own rules is getting too confusing and going green is costing them a lot of green, up to 100000 per store to only offer paper bags a cost that could get passed on to the rest of us. Most shoppers we talk to, though, wouldn't mind. It just makes more sense in the long run. I know most of us, we either end up putting them in the trash can or under the sink, and the plastic bags just pile up. There is one South Carolina community, though, that's come up with a creative way to get rid of your plastic bags. Pull up a seat, join us at 6. We'll break it down for you. I'm Tanya Mendes, NBC Charlotte.